Good morning and welcome to Spotlight. My name is Joelle. And my name is Matthew. And what a privilege it is to be here with you this morning, bright and early, as you were saying about the heat, Matthew. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And Matthew was just mentioning how much hot it's getting and the heat and you know, just being in the desert and Doha and just experiencing, we can feel summer coming along. <laughs> yes, we can feel it and we are ready for it. And we're so ready for it. So Matthew and I are just going to run you through a few things that are happening within the life of DF and the church. And the first thing is... There's no registration! <laughs> There's no longer any registration. <laughs> so make sure that if you were looking to book for services, there's no longer any bookings. You just come and you are able to find your own seats and hasn't it been amazing that's amazing so after two years of now all of this craziness we are almost back to normal and you so know, we just want the mess to also just disappear now so yeah after two years you don't have to book anymore so we need you to fill the church <laughs> invite your friends invite your family your colleagues the stranger that you just met today your neighbors bring them all you know how awesome it is just to no longer have these yellow social distancing cards and, you know, just that feeling of you need to stay in your space and here. But now we are able to just be together, be with your brother and your sister and, you know, just enjoy these moments. So um, there's normal seating capacity and we are allowed to have all these chairs full. So behind us, as you can see, there's those that are coming in for the 9 a.m. service. And if you are at home and you have nothing else to do for the rest of the day, come along and join us for the 11 a.m. Yeah. service. There's nothing like corporate worship. So get into your car and let's Go to the house of the Lord. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. We also have something exciting happening next week, Matthew. What is we that? We have the Easter production. <laughs> you know how awesome it is. This is um, one of the events that we look forward to. You know, this being a sacred time of... Um, where we recognize um, what, our G what Jesus has done for us, you know, dying on the cross and raising uh, from the dead. And this is what we believe. And this is how we are able to come to salvation and know the trueness of His love and of His mercy for us. So it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be insane. I know that a lot of people have been practicing. And, you know, it's just going to be an epic production. So make sure you are here. And where do they need to be and what time? So, we have these invitations. This production is happening on the April, the 17th of April. We have two shows. So, we've got 5 p.m. and we have 7 p.m. So, yes. So make sure you don't miss it. Make sure um, if you would like one of these to give to your friends, if you don't know how to initiate the conversation of just coming along um, to the Easter production, you can find these at uh, our services. Um, you can ask one of the ushers and they will hand them to you. So it's just an awesome invitation that you can give to those um, who you'd like to invite and come because this is a time that the entire world celebrates and recognizes. And so it's just a sweet, sweet time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So Joelle, what are you doing on April the 17th? So on April the 17th, I will definitely be here for both <laughs> of the services. How about you? I'll be there too. You can take this invitation to remind you. Ah, thank you very <laughs> and much. And you don't have to register anymore. You can just come, but come early. Why should they come early? They should come early because this is one of the um, events in the life of this church that is usually full to capacity. I remember um, before the two years of having to social distance, when we had these productions or when we've had Easter services, I myself was sitting on the floor because there was no longer any chairs left. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just that experience of of everyone coming and celebrating what Jesus has done for us and just remembering the sacrifice that he's made is just beautiful and to just do that with a host of people who are truly in there serving and you know just giving him the praise and glory that he deserves yeah. it's an amazing experience so I really do not want you to miss it I'm looking forward to it and I'm sure you are as well yes of course he is alive death has been defeated the stone has been rolled away <laughs> so let's go and celebrate what Christ has done for for us. So make sure you come along, come along, come along and invite as many people as you'd like. Mm -hmm. So we have something else that is exciting um, within our church and we've also been looking and asking people to come along and serve alongside us. There's different ministries, there's different teams that you can get involved with and if you'd like more information about those, just see the ushers or your open home leaders and they will get you connected. But one of the main areas that we are looking for people to help serve in is... 
Kids Church. The Kids Church. So if you would like to get involved with Kids Church, um, we are having um, a tea at 9 a.m. on Saturday, which is tomorrow, on the 9th of April at 9 a.m. And we're here to honor the existing teachers, introduce you to the new ones. And if you would like to be a part of the team, come along. You know, it doesn't take much, you know, to just be there and to being willing to serve. You just need to speak and have a heart for children. And I'm sure that it's amazing. Mm. When you serve, you will grow. So if you're thinking about doing it, just come and do it. Don't stay in the angle deep water. Dive right in. Just dive right in. So it's going to be an awesome time. And so, yeah, Matthew was also just talking about open homes. So if you are new or if you have just been coming to DF um, for a few weeks, we have something called open homes. Matthew, would you like to remind us what open homes are? Open homes is where we gather together as believers in somebody's house. We break bread. We have communion together. And we just pray for each other we support each other and we have a time of worship it's a place where you can share where you can grow where you can cry when you can have lots of fun it's a good place to meet people as well but you will grow spiritually that is so true and I mean you know it, it could be a bit overwhelming when you first come into church and you see like these hundreds of people but when you're plugged in an open home like Matthew said it's just an amazing time with a smaller group of people just getting plugged in learning about God's word and just sharing your thoughts and you know know what God has done for you and we can celebrate that together and also if you need a hand um, to pray with you that's where you will find people so it's just an awesome awesome experience so would we like to run through our services Matthew now that we no longer have to register you need to know the times of our services what are the times of the services Joel? <laughs> so on a Thursday <laughs> night we have a 7 p.m. service last night was amazing action-packed I actually cannot wait for the service this morning Clifton has an awesome awesome some word yes. uh, ready for us and our Friday services are at 9 o'clock in the morning <laughs> which we are and here for. at 11 o'clock in the morning so those are two English services but what about after that so after that if you would like to take anybody for a coffee or a lunch this is the time to make friends you know yes last night Clifton was um, saying that one of the things he hasn't seen in this church uh, one of the things he hasn't seen in his life that he's seen in this church is bill fights and that's when people are going out for lunches and then they are like oh my gosh I want to pay the bill no I want to pay the bill so it's just an awesome experience I know when my family came here someone that I didn't know even paid for the bill of like six of our coffees so I mean it's just also just a time just to get to know people and you know just to invite one so even someone that you don't know meet new people all the time and this is what um, we hear and this is what the kingdom is about yes we are all here together today for fellowship corporate worship so go out there and say hello to somebody new and come and join us definitely get involved so please make sure that if you are at home and you're live streaming please make sure that you're getting involved you're standing up you are worshiping with us. You are like yesing and amening to the sermon. And it's just, a, I know that it's difficult if you are not here physically, but if you have the capacity to do so, make sure that you come along because it's just going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So just to recap everything that we've told you today, no more registration. So you can just come, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your neighbor, bring your colleagues, meet somebody that you've just met, bring them. And to recap, our Easter production is next week on the 17th of April, 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you need a ticket, you can see our ushers. Tomorrow is the... The Kids Church Tea. If you are a Kids Church teacher or you'd like to get involved, make sure you come tomorrow at 9 a.m. We'll be honoring existing teachers and we will introduce them to the new ones as well. So come along and join us for this worship. Uh, Matthew, what are you anticipating for this morning? I know that God is going to touch many lives. I know He's going to refresh. He's going to heal us. He's going to help us with our vision. And I know we're going to meet lots of people today. So yes, it's going to be a blessed day. And for you, Joel. So come along. I'm looking for a new touch, a fresh touch, a fresh anointing of what He's going to do in this place. So come along and join us. And we will see you soon. Have an Have awesome weekend. Have the best weekend. day ever. <laughs> All right. God bless. Yeah.